Hi, my name is Paul and welcome to this review of the American Airlines Embraer 175 First Class product from Los Angeles through to Seattle, as well as a visit to the brand new American Airlines flagship lounge at LAX Terminal 4, which only opened three days before my visit. Located opposite gate 40, the new flagship lounge isn't usually open to passengers travelling in short haul first class to Seattle and I was only granted access due to my one world status. Full details of who is allowed in is in the video description below. The main area is rectangular in shape and overlooks the airport apron. At one end there's plenty of comfy looking chairs and at the other there's individual tables set up where you can settle down and enjoy the buffet. And I must admit that I was thoroughly impressed by the quality of the food provided and I should note that I was visiting at approximately 12 midday. I'll also add that the staff were really friendly and clearly very proud of the new lounge. There was a decent self-service bar. And a few healthy options. And more unhealthy options. Champagne and wine were also offered on a self-serve basis. There's somewhere to watch the TV and more areas to relax before your flight. Out the back there's the official quiet area which is these comfy red seats where you could relax during a long layover. There's also a business centre for the three people left in the world that don't carry their own laptop and there's a printer which is probably the most useful thing. The showers are also something that they've put a lot of effort into and I was impressed. I can't recall if there were seven or nine of them because at this stage I was incredibly jet lagged and the world was moving very slowly. There were also power sockets everywhere and the Wi-Fi was pretty fast. Now there's also the flagship first dining area where there's full table service. Unfortunately, this player wasn't allowed in there as you had to be flying long haul. Anyway, that's enough of the lounge and it was time to head off to Terminal 5 and then a bus to the remote terminal that American Eagle used for their Embraer 175 fleet. Here we are losing a drag to a 737. There are four rows of first class at the front of the cabin in a 1-2 layout, so the entire A side is an individual seat. If travelling alone, it's probably the one to select. I was in the third row in seat 3A. The leg room for a two hour flight was perfectly reasonable and a complimentary beverage was offered straight after boarding. On the left is a drink holder while there's a fold out table in the right armrest. Unfortunately, there's no in-flight entertainment screen or any power sockets. There's reading lights above and two air vents, which is something I really appreciate as I often find aircraft interiors are too warm. Shortly after takeoff, another round of drinks were offered and I went for some coffee. Nuts were also provided and then lunch was served. I went for a cold chicken and rice thing which tasted fine and for dessert there was a lemon tart. The service was actually really quite good and I think I had another three or four refills of coffee throughout the flight. The further north we got, the more dramatic the scenery. 
I'll show the sunset shortly, but before that, I'll conclude and let you enjoy the view in peace. I was actually thoroughly impressed with this flight. A single flight attendant who looked after first class was really good and properly delivered and removed food and offered top ups for drinks. The whole process of catching buses to remote terminal was surprisingly straightforward and quick. The seats were comfortable, although it's unfortunate that there wasn't any power sockets. While I understand that a lot of people, myself included, carry their own entertainment in the form of a tablet or a laptop, having something to keep those devices charged would have been handy. But anyway, it was a top-notch flight and I'll be happy to fly with them again. Anyway, I'll stop talking so that you can enjoy the sunset and cloud surfing footage. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Thank you.